So let's talk about Epsom salt and magnesium and how to do a magnesium soak. So did you know the reason that Epsom salt soaks work so good for aches and pains and all the things that people say that it works is because it actually has magnesium in it. So when you are doing an Epsom salt soak, your body is essentially soaking up the magnesium, the small part of magnesium that is in the Epsom salt to start with. But like I explained in another video, neither one of them is really salt. Uh, so uh, Epsom salt is a sulfate and magnesium is chloride or uh, yeah chloride flakes so um so instead of doing the epsom salt bath to get the the reason epsom salt works so well is because it's magnesium it has a small part of magnesium in it it's so crazy it blows my mind that people are still doing epsom salts when you can literally do magnesium salts magnesium bath soaks so what I do is you do want to put two cups of magnesium flakes into like a regular sized tub of water. If it's a garden tub, you probably want to put four cups in. But um, you want to soak about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, and then the other thing too is when you are doing a magnesium soak, it actually works as a reverse osmosis. It pulls the salt out of your body. This is why magnesium soaks and Epsom soaks are um, actually... Um, uh, sometimes recommended in weight loss plants or detox plants because it pulls out the salt as we know when your body retains a high amount of salt you get bloated you have a lot of water retention it's too much salt in your body and as you know our food supply is riddled with high amounts of salt so in order to get the salt pulled out the magnesium is like a reverse osmosis it pulls the salt out of your body while equally pulling out the toxins and this is why some people will use it in a detox plan or in a diet plan it's basically just getting rid of your salt water weight so that is how you do a magnesium soak you don't want to soak in it for more than like 15 to 20 minutes I wouldn't overdo it and then the other thing too when you are done with your soak you do want to rinse off because if you don't you're gonna probably have like a white film on your body it's salt left over so you can also do magnesium foot soaks you can do body soaks you could magnesium listen get rid of Epsom salt and start using magnesium some people will also put baking soda in with their magnesium I don't do that I like to do a straight magnesium soak so if you have water retention you feel like you're bloating you're carrying a lot of salt weight or you even just want to have a good muscle relaxing soak instead of using Epsom salt the only reason we're using Epsom salt is to get the tiny bit of magnesium that's why Epsom salt works just get rid of the Epsom salt and start doing straight magnesium soaks. I love Ancient Minerals. That's my go-to. Um, they are reasonably priced. You can find them in my Amazon storefront or you can just go buy them. But that's what I recommend for all of my magnesium soaks. Start doing them. It's a game changer. And you'll never go back once you start.